You know, one question that goes on in the mind of every football enthusiast in our country is that when will India play in the World Cup? When will India play like the other football nations in Europe or America? But before that, I would like to remind you that those nations are not playing in the World Cup in just one day. For that, they have started investing many years ago. They have developed their football facilities, their infrastructure and have also invested hugely in the grassroots program. And if you ask me about such grassroots program in India, Yes, in last six to seven years, we have really noticed that many such grassroots programs are happening across the whole country. And while talking about such grassroots program, how can I forget about the North Punk League in Mizoram? In 2022, Reliance Foundation Young Champs joined hands with the Mizoram Football Association to kickstart this North Punk League across the four districts of Mizoram. And among these four districts are Aizol, Lunglei, Kulasi, and Champai. This league goes on for seven months. And it includes more than 160 teams along with 2,000 players. It includes not only the boys, even the girls also participate in this league. In this league, the kids get more than 33 games per season to play. And which is very important for, at this stage of the football development. Hi, this is Rahul for Rep Sports. And now I am here at Mizoram to unfold this beautiful story of Nopang League. Mizoram is a state where people live, breathe and dream football. In every household, you will find at least one pair of football boots and the leather ball. Whether on an astroturf or a clay pitch, you will see group of players gathered around a football. From a 5-year-old child to an 80-year-older, everyone in Mizoram is passionate about this beautiful game. The people here never miss a moment of the Football World Cup, the Premier League or any other major football event. It's no wonder that football has placed them prominently on India's sports map. When Mizoram won the Santosh Trophy in 2014 and three years later when Aizol FC clinched the I-League Championship, the state became the talk of the nation. Shailum Alsam Tulunga, fondly known as Mama, was a trailblazer for the Mizor footballer. He was the first from the state to represent the national team and the Kolkata Giants, East Bengal and Mohan Bagan. Following in his footsteps, many footballers from Mizoram have risen to the prominence. Even today, players like Lalin Juala Changte and Apuya both hail from the hilly state of Mizoram, who are making waves in the Indian Super League. Mizoram boasts immense football talent and has even produced international stars like JJ Lalpe Klua, Shailo Malswam Tulunga and Lalin Juala Changte. From the I-League to the Indian Super League, you will find at least one or two major players in every club. However, despite being a hotbed of Indian football, Mizoram has lacked certain crucial elements over the years. Key among these are structured, grassroots programs, licensed coaches and referees, and all of which RFYC is addressing through the Nopang League. With the introduction of this league, the Mizoram Football Association has set its sights on even grander ambitions. After two successful seasons, the RFIC Nopang League has entered its third season, which commenced on 24th of August. This season will span over nine months, providing a comprehensive platform for every young footballer in the state to excel in their home turf. Uh, no Pang League, League is one of the best things which ever happened to football in Mizoram. When we started the Mizoram Premier League way back in 2012, I was always talking about this as a game changer. Yes, it changed the football scenario of Mizoram. But here we have another game changer in No Pang League. The way the boys were playing, uh, today I saw the excitement and the skill, the level of competition. Uh, it is completely a new whole game altogether. So I, I believe, I sincerely believe that this is the next game changer in Mizoram. Uh, Lights in Chang's foundation, ka, sif abhi dosal hua, 
लेकिन जैसा हम लोग लास्ट ईयर से बहुत इम्प्रूव हुआ जैसा अभी मैच खेल रहा है और मैच के बाद जैसा ऑन एंड ऑफ द फील्ड ने जो बच्चा लोग का टाइमिंग जैसा टाइमिंग और हेल्दी हेल्दी लाइफ स्टाइल और स्टडी में अभी बहुत चेंज हो रहा है और अभी खाना के लिए भी अभी ये सब कुछ अभी चेंज हो रहा है क्योंकि हम लोग कोचिंग के बाद जैसा मैच के बाद कैसा खाना और कैसा टाइम मैनेजमेंट करना है और उसके बाद भी स्कूल मतलब स्कूल स्टडी के लिए उसमें हम लोग सब कुछ आ, हम लोग और सिखा रहे हैं अभी अच्छा। उसमें अभी लास्ट ईयर से तो ये साल बहुत इम्प्रूव हो रहा है ये yeah, बहुत वैल्यू हो रहा है नो पंगली का तो बहुत अच्छा लगा है आ, हमारा टाइम में तो ऐसा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नहीं मिला है आजकल का बच्चा लोग बहुत लकी है दे आर वेरी लकी अभी जैसे ग्रास में आर्टिफिशियल तरफ में खेल सकते हैं और प्रॉपर कोचिंग भी मिल रहा है हमारा टाइम में तो प्रॉपर कोचिंग भी नहीं मिलता था जैसे हम लोग ग्राउंड में जाते हैं अपना आप खेलने शुरू करते हैं दोस्त लोग के साथ लेकिन आजकल का बच्चा लोग जितना फैसिलिटीज मिल रहा है जर्सीस ग्राउंड बॉल्स सब और रिलायंस से मैंने अच्छी कर रहा है सब कुछ तो ये लोग बहुत लकी है नाट वन एक्सपीरियंस दैट चेंज इज योर लाइफ Varnal Rochandwa an 11 year old boy from Kolasib district of Mizoram embarked on an extraordinary journey to Mumbai for the RFIC exposure trip Coming from a financially humble family living Mizoram was merely a distant dream Growing up closer to the jungle than to a football ground Varnal Rochandwa developed a deep passion for the beautiful game Despite his parents inability to afford football kits he received unwavering support from his academy and coaches In 2022 a remarkable opportunity presented itself when the Mizoram Football Association joined hands with the Reliance Foundation to launch the Nopang League in Mizoram representing Project Wang Academy in the Kolasib District League Varnal Rochandwa faced numerous challenges of the pitch but continued to shine on the field delivering five clean sheets in 21 games his resilience under the crossbar mirrored his perseverance in life As a reward for his outstanding performance, he was selected for the RFIC exposure trip to Mumbai. Embarking on this week-long trip was an unimaginable feat for him. He broke down in tears as he was reluctant to leave his family behind. On the day of travel, while the other children arrived at the Aizol airport with their parents and numerous belongings, Vanal Rochandwa carried only a small backpack with two sets of clothes. This exposure trip not only opened doors to football opportunities but also offered of field learnings for Varnal Rochandwa from residing in a four star hotel and struggling to operate the tap in washroom proper diet and restriction for a footballer the simple experience has added to his few memorable days in mumbai uh, so he said that uh, my name is Varnal Rochandwa and i'm from kolasib and i'm play for uh, project wayang football academy and last year also i participated and i was also a part of this nopang league last year Uh, what he told me is that uh, as computer last year in terms of experience i'm getting more experience and i'm able to adapt with the situation with the climatization and with even the atmosphere i've been to so in and even uh, with my mentality also i'm become more confident as computer last year yeah of course uh, this boy i know him from very young age and he is a very good player uh, but he was little bit shy before that he is having some inferiority complex he don't want to talk up uh, with most of his friend he is a very shy person but growing i see him a lot of improvement he was a part of a, a mumbai exposure trip he was one of the guy whom uh, uh who go to mumbai as a trip so there's a lot of confidence in terms of speaking up in terms of expressing himself as a players and as a human being oh, so that, uh he told me that uh like i am having a clean sheet around five games uh, in the last season mm. as i said before people in mizoram hardly miss a football game whether it's an early evening match or a late night game they are glued to the television however with the inception of the nopang league they have started to change Now these kids in Mizoram go to bed early knowing they have to wake up early for training or match days. This shift has brought notable societal changes in the discipline of the kids, their daily routines, diet and the enthusiastic involvement of their parents. Kids participating in the Nopang League are taught by their coaches to avoid junk food and follow a proper diet and nutrition plan required for a footballer. The change in their food habit has been noticeable. 
in a time when kids are increasingly getting addicted to mobile phones and social media parents have reported a positive shift in their children's relationship with these devices after the participation in the nopang league also in nopang girls do not have separate teams rather they play alongside the boys in the same team the enthusiasm of the parents involvement in the league is also remarkable they often skip their own work or household chores to go to the ground and cheer for their kids coaches of the respective teams are learning new aspects of modern day coaching through rfic coaching programs enhancing their skills to give back to the community however one of the most significant challenges faced by mizoram is drug abuse drugs have long been the enemy of football in mizoram ending the careers of many promising footballers Tetia Hamar, Mizoram Sports Minister, believes that Nopang League will guide young footballers onto the right path and play an influential role in curbing the drug abuse. The Nopang League is not just changing the game, it's changing lives in Mizoram. See, one thing is discipline. Discipline is one, one of the most important you know, things which you need to follow as a, as a footballer or a sports person. That is what they have learned in Nopang League. And number two, of course, we know uh, the food habit, uh you know the the sleeping habit as well and these days one of the biggest problems is you know uh the the the, the social media the mobile phones the tablets and the youtube whatever you know these are the kind of things which distract players you know it's 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 time consuming as well so the players are taught by the coaches you know uh yes 100% they can't refrain from it but at least they can discipline themselves Uh, these are the kind of changes and apart from that you know one of the biggest problems we face in Mizoram is drugs the problem of drugs a person do not go to drugs you know directly they started smoking and from there you know they started drinking or maybe from smoking to drugs so in football uh, smoking is one of the you know one of the biggest enemy for a footballer this has been taught by the coaches of the Nopang League you know if you want to play in Nopang League you have to refrain from smoking you you should not indulge in any kind of this evil practices so you know that way uh, it's it's bring a whole lot of change i i have encountered you know a few parents who wanted to bring their you know sons and daughters to the Nopang League system e- even if they do not excel in football at least they will learn discipline in in different ways that is the kind of change this no pang league is, league is bringing to mizoram i will say not only to football you know into the society as well okay. my child's name is jason lalompuya he's playing at under 12 right now in the inter district league he's playing at isol the best of the rest and i have also another child obadia lalompuya he's playing at under 8 he just turned 7 and uh this is season 2 um they played from season 1 in the from the beginning up until now we have shown improvement great improvement after they played this nopang league they have shown great improvement towards their discipline in and off the pitch and in their even in their studies they they are doing well than before because see uh they're coaches and ma- managers they told them that they should pro- do well on and off the pitch so 100% 100% why should why should our kids deserve any less than what the kids in uh, other countries other more developed markets get why um hopefully this becomes the norm and the standard given time right now it isn't that's the unfortunate reality but it takes time to change things it takes time to change mindsets um for us it's very simple you see it in you see it visually represented as well child first player second uh one good sort of framework and lens that we apply is would we be comfortable with our kids participating in a program like this that's how we make sure that that it's a good experience for them uh with no surprise football is a very common thing in mizoram before this no pang league also we play a lot of lot of football local tournaments are there but what difference and what changes uh, this no pang league is made in terms of professionalism nowadays uh, the kids they are having more awareness in terms of maintaining themselves like they're having a match on saturday they need to take care of themselves in terms of sleeping what they will eat what they will wear what kind of jersey what kind of socks they will wear so that kind of professionalism changes are there 
and with the kind of mentality they're having is absolutely amazing. Uh, before that, they used to play a tournament where if they lost one match, everything is over. So they need to wait for one more year. But now, uh, if they win, if they lose in that match also, they still have a hope that next season, I mean next uh, match, we can win the, the league. So that kind of uh, good mentality are coming up because of this Nopong League. Sure. So as, as, an, as an organization, we've been here, um, youth sports has been operational here since 2017 with the school and college competition. As young champs, we've actually come even before that to scout in the past. Um, so we're trying to do our bit as an organization, not just through the Nopang League, but through our other initiatives as well. We have the development league that runs now as well. So um, hopefully the Reliance and uh, Mizoram story has a, has, a has a long way to run. Just as a school is incomplete without quality teachers, a football grassroots program is also incomplete without proper quality coaches. A quality coach doesn't necessarily need immense playing experience, but must possess modern coaching skill, especially the ability to connect with and guide young players. They need to know how to steer kids in the right direction and build cohesive teams from a young age. Mijoram has always boasted immense football talent, but has historically lacked quality coaching. The inception of the Nopang League has been a game changer, not just by providing state-of-the-art facilities and infrastructure, but by emphasizing coach education programs. These programs are designed to equip Mizoram's coaches with modern football methodologies and skills needed to manage young players effectively. Reliance Foundation Young Champs has been at the forefront of this transformation. Through initiatives like coach education and development, RFIC has enabled 17 coaches to earn their e-license, empowering them for a brighter future in football coaching. This initiative ensures that the young footballers of Mizoram, aged 6 to 14, receive the most crucial guidance during their formative years. At this critical stage, young footballers need proper direction not just in on-pitch training but also in off-pitch disciplines and dietary habits. The coaches in the Nopang League are educated with these essential attributes, allowing them to disseminate this knowledge throughout the football community. This comprehensive approach ensures that Mizoram young talents are well-rounded, disciplined and ready to take on the challenges of the professional football in the future. Yeah, I think it's general uh, important for every player uh, in a professional competition or as a, as a youth grassroots starting football player that you have uh, any games. And uh, I would prefer that we also have uh, in our academy in Mumbai uh, such a structure that you really know from week to week, from plan to plan, uh, that you can play uh, back to back and uh, don't have surprises sometimes that you have uh, three games in, in one week. Here it's really, you go to training, you have your exercises and you can uh, compete with each other with your friends on, on Saturday. So how nice is that? Scouting is the cornerstone of any grassroots football system which plays a pivotal role in developing the sport nationwide. In the Nopang League, where over 2,000 kids compete, scouts are tasked with identifying the top 40 prospects from this vast talent pool and guiding them to the next level. Steve Charles, the head of scouting at Reliance Foundation Young Champs, lead this critical process in the Nopang League in Mizoram. His approach involves attending local matches and collaborating with community leaders to uncover promising football talent even from the remotest areas in Mizoram. Charles' journey into football and scouting is remarkable. After playing for Pune FC from 2008 to 2011, he transitioned to coaching in 2014 with FC Pune City, an Indian Super League outfit. In 2012, a scholarship to Blackburn Robins Football Club marked a significant turn in his career. In Blackburn, Charles experienced modern football training for the first time, profoundly influencing his scouting philosophy. Under the mentorship of Phil Cannon, former scouting head at Everton Football Club, who discovered Wayne Rooney and nurtured Theo Walcott at the Swindon Town's Youth Academy, Charles honed his skills and approach to scouting. This experience equipped him with insights and methodologies necessary to excel in identifying and developing young footballers. The Nopang League scouting program ensures that identified potential stars receive ample game time and exposure with each team playing at least 30 matches per season. Through meticulous scouting and dedicated development programs, Steve Charles and the Nopang League have transformed Mizoram football landscape, 
offering young athletes hope and opportunity and paving the way for the next generation of football stars. I think stars. Uh, along what is special about the whole Naupang League is uh, along with competition and giving competitive games to the kids here, uh, we wanted to upscale it by having decentralized coaching sessions which is open to all uh, participating in the Naupang League and uh, furthermore uh, decentralized coaching sessions are just about coming and training in a structured environment, a structured training program. Uh, how we could um, uh, capitalize more on it is again from these decentralized coaching sessions, what we call it as deco sessions, uh, we s wanted to scout players and the high potential players from this, from the games and from the sessions, create another talent pool which is called Emerging Talent uh, Pool program and call again EET and uh, have them into an advanced session again like a like a young champ session what we call it as close to what young champs uh, players in the players in mumbai experience so the concept came out in this manner and this year we could execute it properly uh, how we do it and the question is how do we identify these players we ensure that we watch at least eight to ten match days of when the league starts so there's enough of uh, uh, eyes on those kids along with uh, Dika, who's uh, full-time here, along with Shalo Mama, uh, and in Champai, uh, we they travel to Champai as well. I've travelled to Champai to look at players myself, and uh, the community coaches along who are with us also play a vital role to identify these players because they are also watching the games, and uh, it's also with EET identifying talent also has been educa educating the coaches overall by not just identifying talent by who is the best player on the pitch who's scoring goals or who's shooting the ball far but overall play also so hand in hand this Nopang league is not just been for kids but an holistic approach towards developing coaches uh, uh, how to how to conduct training sessions uh, coaches to watch players as a scouts from a scouts perspective and then later on go and deliver a high quality training program and a session for the high potential kids so that's how the EET is designed this year for us. Right moment, at the right time. It's not only about changing their uh, playing character, but also their personality. One day at a time, they might not be a good footballer. They might not be engaged in the football team, but they will become one person. Might be a chief minister, might be a sweeper or anything. So that kind of things, what we teach them in a very young age through football, because when we are a coach, they listen to us. If the parents or if the teachers tell them, they are just not obeying, but when the coach tell them one thing, they are 100%. So as a coach, we need to give them a right guidance. Lalindiga Kiangte, an A-licensed coach and a key figure in the Mizoram coaching program, who is spearheading a revolution in the Nopang League. He oversees the development and growth of coaches who in turn nurture the young talent of the Nopang League through innovative techniques. Dika's journey into football coaching is inspiring. As a schoolboy, he played in the prestigious Shubroto Cup. However, his passion for football was nearly extinguished by his parents as they valued education above all and urged him to focus on his studies. Although Dika gave up his dream of playing professional football, he found new inspiration in watching football managers on the touchline and somehow developed a keen interest in coaching. For 15 years, Dika worked as a coach at an academy in Punjab. This dedication, however, came at a personal cost, as he was often separated from his family. His wife lived in Asham with one of their daughters, while their other daughter stayed with her grandparents. The Nopang League proved to be a turning point. Drawn by the potential of this groundbreaking project, Dika didn't hesitate to contribute his coaching expertise to the development of Mizoram football. This opportunity also brought his family together, allowing them to reunite in their home state. Dika, who has been passionate about football coaching since his youth, is now leading a coaching revolution in the Nopang League. He is energized whenever he is surrounded by the kids in the league. His commitment and passion are palpable, as he tirelessly works to elevate the standards of football coaching in Mizoram. Dika firmly believes that Mizoram has lacked quality football coaches since long time. However, with the coaches' education program in the Nopang League, he has observed immediate improvement in the coaching and guidance of young footballers. Uh, yeah, so myself, see, uh, from 2007, I work in a music school in Punjab. So there, I work as a music teacher. Yeah, there, but you know, playing, uh, having a, a, like playing experience in football. There, like uh, I used to train some boys in the evening. 
So then, like, you know, slowly, slowly, uh, from music teacher, I, I did not change, actually, that time, but uh, I put myself into coaching profession also. So then after that, like, I start uh, my career, like, you know, all this uh, coaching license, starting from D license, which is in uh, 2013. Now, that time, in 2022, my wife is uh, working in Assam, and I have, I've, I, I'm, I have blessed with a twin daughter. My wife is, uh, you know, uh, with uh, one of the daughter. Uh, then the, the other one is with my with the, uh, their grandparents actually in, here in Mizoram. That means that my wife is in Assam, myself is in Punjab, and my uh, one daughter is in Aizol here in Mizoram. So we are in like th three different states. So once this project comes, once I join in, then this project brought my family together here. Now we all are here in Aizol. So that means that uh, you know this project, this no Pangli project, brought my family together in one place in here in Mizoram. Yeah. In the vibrant city of Mumbai, 40 young dreamers embarked on a transformative journey of the Reliance Foundation Young Champs exposure trip. Handpicked after an exhilarating 8-month tournament, these budding footballers from Mizoram, 20 each from the under-12 and under-14 categories, eagerly set foot in the RFIC Academy for a pivotal 6-day camp. Under the tutelage of esteemed mentors like Jose Barreto and Mark Wesson, the head of coach education at RFIC, the children delved deep into a whirlwind of training sessions. During their brief respite from training, the kids explored Mumbai's iconic landmarks, from the gateway of India to the Mount Mary Charge. This experience added depth to their journey, connecting them to the rich tapestry of Indian culture and history. As the camp drew to a close, a sense of camaraderie permeated the group. The final day's fun circuit, filled with laughter and friendly competition, symbolized not only their growth as athletes, but also the bonds forged in the pursuit of their dreams. For each child, Mumbai became more than a city. It became a place where dreams took shape, where skills were honed, and where friendships blossomed. The Reliance Foundation Young Champs had set the stage for their futures, equipped not just with football skills but with the resilience and values to succeed in any India world they choose. Uh, now Punk League is, I think is giving opportunity for the players to show their potential. Uh, I feel the game is also giving players different contests. What I mean is uh, different opponents, uh, different teams. And I feel that's very essential, very important, very crucial for the, for the kids' development. In the hilly state of Mizoram, football has always been a passion. But reaching the national stage seemed distant for many talented players. Traditionally, aspiring footballers believed they needed to leave their home state and train in elite academies elsewhere to succeed in the ISL or the national team. Here comes the RFIC in Opang League a game-changer for Mizoram's football aspirations. This grassroots league has transformed the landscape, providing ample game time, top-notch facilities and crucial coaching education. Local coaches now spread football knowledge throughout the community, supported by robust scouting programs that unearth raw talents. Unlike before, young players in the Nopang League get over 30 games per season to showcase their skills a stark contrast to earlier opportunities. Rigorous training regimes under licensed coaches instill discipline and emphasize the importance of health and nutrition, preparing the players thoroughly for match days. Moreover, the league has enriched Mizoram's football culture, fostering intense inter-village rivalries that fuel local pride. It's not just about matches, it's about building a sustainable football ecosystem from the grassroots level. The Nopang League isn't just a competition, it's a catalyst that's leveling the playing field for Mizoram's football dreamers, bringing them closer than ever to realizing their full potential on the national stage.